Okay. Um, right, so this is the angel hug for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 19th, 20th and 21st of April. And I'm going to start off with these gorgeous saints and angels cards from Doreen Virtue. And um, again, I'm <laughs> really enjoying having all these cards at my disposal. I might show them to you one day. There are quite a few piles of cards that have kind of been collected over the years. Right being told that that's the card to stop at. So Friday, how do we need to view our change, our shift? What do we need to change? Stress management. Okay, so Friday, end of the week for a lot of people. Um, of course, if you work for yourself, maybe the week doesn't ever end. <laughs> but um, Friday's a good day to just chill out a little bit, especially in the afternoon. It's um, the kind of feeling I'm getting because I know a lot of people are going to be at work um, in the morning and if you're working for someone else it's very difficult to completely uh, detach from everything that's going on around you however start in the afternoon to, to begin laying the foundation for your time for your weekend ahead so just start to in fact at any time my guys are saying okay so at any time wherever you are begin to draw your attention inward, learn how to draw your attention inside yourself and notice what's happening at any given time during the day. So when you feel that your levels of stress are rising, if you have the presence of mind, when you have the presence of mind to do so, just go away for five minutes to anywhere that you can withdraw safely, I mean without recriminations, and just take a few deep breaths, withdraw detach completely and think of something really nice that you're planning for the weekend or just think about the weekend think about some more ideas and strategies if you do work for yourself and you absolutely love what you do and you're really really excited about it and you're a bit full on um no names mentioned in particular i mean if you're very enthusiastic and you kind of you just keep going you keep working because you love what you do so much you could also do with some stress management is what i'm feeling and um so take some time out to just go within yourself and say, yes, okay, I love what I do, but I also am not just about work, so I'm going to take some time to just focus on something else that I love doing that isn't anything to do with work. And with some kinds of work, it's quite challenging to do that because in a way you are the job. You are, you know, if you work as an intuitive or as a healer or, you know, some other sort of practitioner or a teacher or a speaker or a coach, um, you know, it's quite likely that you are very absorbed in what you do just because of the nature of it and because it's your passion. So just oh, remember that there is a you in there and ask yourself, right, what would I say to myself now if I was coming to me for some guidance or for some healing? And then just switch off, switch the phones off, switch the computer off and start to uh, have a little bit of a break because that stress takes all different kinds of forms. You might not be feeling very panicky, but your body might be feeling like it just needs to relax a little bit, or your mind might be feeling like it just needs to zone out a little bit. I know because I've done it and I've taken it for granted that um, because you love what you're doing, it means that it's always, always, always going to keep filling you up. Well, yes, it does in a way, and there are other ways that we need to be filled up as well. Faith. For Saturday, so this is quite a big theme as well. This is what this is another thing that needs to change with a lot of us light workers is that we need to have faith uh, in the vision of our lives as we would like them to be. So if things are not quite working out in the right way yet, it's just a reminder to stay focused, to stay focused on whatever that dream is, and to to understand that okay, faith is one thing, faith is wonderful, but if you slip out of the alignment with faith, a way to restore that faith is to actually just do more of what you love doing, do more of what it is you're hoping to manifest. So, you know, once you've done the stress management thing on Friday, this, and once you've detached from whatever the overwork is or just the work situation is, um, come into yourself and get really, really clear about where your faith is. Is your faith based on what you're doing and understanding that it can move ahead, that it can grow and develop in the way that you would like it to? Or is your faith a little bit sort of drifting around and you're thinking, well, I'm working really, really hard and nothing's really happening and I don't seem to be getting anywhere and nothing seems to be growing. 
bring the face inside until it's a very, very tiny, no, I'm not going to say mustard seed, okay, until it's a tiny, tiny, tiny seed, a tiny, tiny seed of face. So it's absolutely there, rather than thinking that you're in face and just, it's all, you're all sort of, I don't know, scattered. So go right inside, find where is that tiny, tiny grain of faith? What is it that I really completely and utterly believe can happen? What do I, I believe can happen? What can I completely accept will happen if I continue in a particular way? Because we have to work hand in hand with faith. And then in a very gentle way, because it's much, the reason we get stressed sometimes is because we're rushing around trying to do everything and trying to make it happen. Whereas sometimes what we need to do is to come inside, get very still, get very small and quiet, to push everything to one side that we are trying to make happen and that we are busy, 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 busy doing, to come inside and find the tiniest, tiniest grain of certainty. What is it that I know I absolutely can do, that I absolutely can make happen? And then that's where faith steps in, and that's where the universe starts to come in behind us. It's not about having an idea up here about what should happen, or what, what could happen, or what would happen if. It's about really having a deep understanding about how to nourish the true purpose that we are here for, and knowing, the knowing inside us that it will be done no matter what. So find out what that is for you on Saturday and be faithful to it. So, Sunday, I feel like we need to have another nice angel therapy card. Um, so, vegetarian, vegan, okay. Fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy which elevates your spiritual frequency. So, I'm not going to dictate to anyone about what you need to eat. I would say, personally, trust your body. Give your body what your body tells you it needs. And, um, you know, don't get drawn into any ideas from here about whether you should be a vegetarian or a vegan. Trust your heart. And I know there are a lot of arguments at the moment for not eating meat. Um, and, you know, personally, I haven't eaten red meat for years, decades probably. And, um, you know, but there are fluctuations in terms of what I feel my body needs and I tend to go with that. I'm just being honest with you. So trust what you feel your body needs because sometimes you need something a bit stronger to ground you and then sometimes you need to go back into that very pure space of high frequency foods and no animal products at all. Trust yourself is what I would say and just know that if you are in a space of purification, those are the things that you need to do. So look at that on Sunday. However, this is something that my guys are always saying to me. Please tell people not to be hard on themselves, not to criticise themselves if they feel they need to eat a little bit of fish or something every now and again. I'm sorry, vegetarians, but that's the guidance that I receive and I've got my point in standing. So, you know, I'm not telling anyone to do either one or the other. I just feel we need to take all the judgment away from all of it and just be completely in our hearts and our bodies about it. We're going through a lot of shifts, a lot of changes at the moment. We are recycling a lot of old stuff, a lot of old ideas and consciousness, and we are even recycling physically. So things are speeding up, and all of these things that we take in will be evolved quite quickly. So we need to understand what it is we need to take in from day to day that will help us to evolve and help us to stay grounded as well. So that's it. That's all I'm going to say for Sunday. I think that was Sunday. Um, on the subject of um, that card. Right. Uh, let's see. So finally, for Sunday, just to finish it, protect yourself. So this is really for anyone who does feel a little bit vulnerable and uh, faced out or just not quite, not quite there for some reason. I'm actually feeling this is not about, um, okay, there are so many different levels of understanding about protection and they are all relevant at different times in our lives and to uh, greater or lesser degrees. So trust yourself about what you feel you need at the moment. What I'm feeling a lot of people need at the moment is grounding in these energies because they're very, very powerful. And I also feel that with the heightened sensitivity, opening us up to being able to feel each other's thoughts and consciousness much more, the main uh, idea at the moment, the main theme in terms of protection is 
um, being aware of where I begin and where you begin. So, in other words, being aware of other people's consciousness. Consciousness is infectious. So choose the consciousness that you uh, exchange with carefully. Choose it very wisely, especially if you're an empath or a healer or an indigo. Just be very gentle with yourself. Just know when you need to go and, you know, get inside your wings and recharge yourself and, and just ask to be covered. And talk to Archangel Michael constantly as well. Keep reaffirming that you are a divine being. You are an empowered being. You are bigger than all of this, ultimately. You are greater than all of this. And ultimately, all things are one. However, in this transition phase, please help me to know how to keep out the influences that are not for my highest good. So that's that for Sunday. Have a great uh, weekend, everyone. And I'll be back on Monday. Bye.